Hi, welcome to uh, the first pillar of the A-B testing mastery course. It's uh, the intro pillar. Uh, it's going to be three parts. Uh, the final part is uh, when to use A-B testing. The middle part is about the value of A-B testing. And this first part is all about the history of A-B testing. And I'm going to draw you a little timeline here. Um, it's going from uh, 1995 and before all the way up to 2019. And before 95, there wasn't really the web, of course, so AB experiments on the web were non-existing. Uh, but of course, there were already experiments. Uh, in the Bible, there are parts that will explain to you that real experiments were run. Uh, the Dutch people on the big ships going to the east in 1700 already performed experiments to understand which people got what disease or not. And of course, in advertising, uh, coupon codes to a local newspaper or advertising to your home uh, was all split testing. Uh, but the web, of course, became big in 95 with uh, the first browsers coming along. But what we did back then, 95 to, let's say, uh, the year of 2000, uh, was not really A-B testing. It was us digging through log files of the website to understand real behavior going on on the website, make a couple of changes, and then start measuring again and see if there's a difference. So we were comparing week one and two with week three and four. So all the external influencers were not the same. So not really proper A-B testing. It could be because of some other reason that you thought your change was making an impact. And by the year 2000, we started doing meta description redirects, meta tag redirects even, or uh, if the browsers were already compatible to JavaScript redirecting. So if you went to a website, uh, it took like one, two, three, four seconds to load back in those days. And then after that time you heard click, and then you were brought on to a different URL and you had version B of the website. Um, we were not using any cookies at all. So if you re-entered the experiment, it could be in 50% of the occasions you were ending up in the wrong variation. So still not really good A-B testing in 2000. I think in 2003, around that year, we got uh, uh, real tools to the marketplace. We got Aframatica, Optimost, uh, Metrics came to the marketplace. These were really expensive enterprise software solutions for experimentation. And they were using cookies. So that's what we start doing, of course, also with our own redirect scripts, the poor man's solution to A-B testing. When these tools came along, we started using cookies. So then we had a proper, proper randomized controlled trial because uh, if you look back before 95, in the health industry, a randomized controlled trial was already the way to go to understand if a medicine was working or not. Take two groups of patients and do it double blind. So the patients were not knowing if they were a part of A or B, and also the researchers were not knowing if they had group A or B. Spread out the medicine and do a proper experiment, a randomized controlled trial on medicines, double blind. So that's what we started doing in 2003. And then in 2006, something really important happened. Google Optimizer came to the marketplace. They created a free solution back then that could do JavaScript redirects, but we also found out ways to inject code on web pages so we could optimize the web page client side. So DOM manipulation back then, client side testing 2006 by Google Optimizer. The first affordable tool. And then 2010, I think the most important year in running experiments, because if you look on time scale and the number of experiments being run, it goes up something like this, but then in 2010, this happens. VWO and Optimizely came to the marketplace. They created a drag and drop solution for A-B testing. So every marketeer could just log on, drag and drop something, press start and run the experiment. Really interesting stuff happening back then because before that, it were all really experienced people that knew what they were doing. And after 2010, lots of new people came to the A-B testing scene, making lots of mistakes. Uh, I made them too. I made lots of those mistakes. And that's why we're now teaching the A-B testing mastery course, because it's a very powerful tool, but you can make many mistakes. What started happening after 2010, VWO and Optimizely came to the marketplace with drag and drop. I think until 2013, we were happy just dragging and dropping but also learning not to use the code editor or not to use drag and drop, but just use the code editor to, to create our own experiments. And by 2013, we found out we wanted to run experiments in apps. Um, uh, websites were going, uh, were moving towards single page applications uh, and uh, uh, using React frameworks, using uh, um, uh, Angular frameworks. 
which made it way harder to test client side. So we had to come up with frameworks and embed the testing solution inside the framework to be able to run those experiments. So it became harder, you needed more development power to run experiments. Uh, 2016. I think um, from 2016, the, the quality of the tools became way better. Uh, 2010, new tool to the marketplace. 2013, it became harder. And 2016, I think we solved more solutions. Personalization came to the marketplace. Segmentation, but also AI came to the optimization marketplace. And to me, 2016 is the year where our industry really became mature. Playing around, now it's a mature industry. Everyone wants to embed experimentation A-B testing. Every company has a tool. Every company who is big enough and has lots of data is start to build their own tools from 2016. And this is where we are now in 2019. Uh, uh, we are running into data quality issues with client-side testing using cookies. Uh, the, well, we have troubles with ITP and ETP to track users across an experiment. So we're moving server-side. Uh, we're embedding optimization frameworks on the server level as companies now. And that is where we're growing from now on. Uh, and it's just growing and growing. And we're now in a mature market. Place where we came from log file analysis, doing uh, comparing weeks, and we went on to redirect scripts, not using cookies. Then we started using cookies. Then we had a real tool, Google Optimizer, to run experiments on with drag and drop interfaces, going to frameworks, personalization AI, and now all the way to server side. It's all A B testing and it's rapidly evolving. And in this course, you're going to learn every pitfall that I've made over all these years running A B tests.